This is my first vlog. This is my first vlog. <laughs> and my car died and I'm making a bagel. Thank you, Julian, for coming over. He's amazing. He's about to come over soon. And what would you do without friends, right? What would you do? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is Monday and we are riding today. I am riding today. There's a car, annoying, there's two cars. Why do cars exist, three cars? Anyway, so I'm riding with my boy, my boy Johnny Chua. I'm very excited. I like riding, it's so, it feels like if I'm a fish, feels like I'm swimming every time I write. That's what it feels like. Johnny, we are done. We finished it. We finished it. Johnny's amazing. It was a struggle, but we got there in the we end. We did, we did. We labored for the lyrics yes. and it was so hard, but we did eat and then watch David, what? Attenborough. Attenborough. Yeah. Blue, Blue Planet. Blue Planet really inspired us and we're done. Give me five. It's it was fire. fire. It was fire, it was fire, it's fire. Thank you, it was fire. Uh, I think we need more candles in there. Good morning. It is definitely the next day. I am here. I'm going to uh, today's another writing day, which I'm very excited about. Um Today I'm writing with my boy Oscar Gamboa, and I love working with him. It's so easy, and I love him. He's one of my best friends. He's a brother. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. I'm into this piano. Thank you. 
we just ate Chipotle and it was very good. It slapped actually. Chipotle, no, no, it doesn't always slap because then it'll hit you. You know when it hits you, when it hits you. Yeah, writing music is so interesting and vulnerable and challenging and frustrating and life-giving and thrilling. It's like all mixed together. Yeah. I just figure out. <gasps> no. There it is. There it is. There it is. I'm waiting for Oscar to get a microphone from our boy Sebastian's house. There he is. I'm recording. Hi, Oscar. What's up? How you doing, man? Good. Good to see you, bro. Um, hey, so uh, what are some... How do you describe writing music? Fun. That's it? Yeah. Cool. That sounds fun. Awesome. Okay. Boy? Are you a happy boy? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. He's a happy boy. He's such a happy boy. Oh, my goodness. A happy So we just finished a pretty good demo, Oscar and I, today. And it is so vulnerable, like to, it's so vulnerable to work on a song because as you're like singing the demo, you hear every part of your voice where you need to grow at and, be, and just get better, you know? So it was like pretty vulnerable. Like working on a song, when you write it, it kind of takes everything of you to even write it and to hear it. And it was so, so fun today. And I'm so excited just for music and things like that. It is so hot in Dallas, Texas right now. It's probably, according to my car, it's 104 degrees outside. 104, 104 degrees. But it probably feels like 347 degrees Fahrenheit. So... Yep. I'm so excited. You know, something that I'm still learning, and I don't know if, if you're someone out there that, I mean, everyone creates, like, you know, everyone's creative. Um, but if you would say that you're an artist, This is maybe me specifically talking to, to artists. Do you ever feel the feeling of you've created something, whether you alone or with people, and then you get like vulnerability hangover because you were so vulnerable in this creation that it's like, gosh, I actually don't even know how to talk about it and how I feel about it. And maybe I don't even want to talk about it. I just need some time to let it breathe and exist. It is such an interesting thing how that can happen. And I th I'm thinking like, I was actually talking to my friend this morning, Julian, uh, in the morning we were driving and he, I told him how I was feeling and he said, that's actually a good thing because that means that you, it's actually real to you. And when he said that, I was like, oh my gosh, it's true. Like as, as, as artists, whenever we actually allow ourselves and you give yourself over to the art and you actually put your heart into it, it, I think part of it should feel vulnerable and it should feel like, oh, this is scary because it's real to you and it's true. And I'm, I'm still learning that. Like it, it can feel so vulnerable to be like, man, I just actually showed my heart in this. Cause I, you could go to the safe route and create or copy and, or whatever, not be fully yourself in it, but to like actually 
give yourself over to it is so vulnerable and but it's so worth it because then it's real and then it's true and then it's I don't know it just you know when it's real and yeah it's so interesting I was just thinking I wonder if God felt that when he created us he didn't have a vulnerability hangover but but it is vulnerable though because then creation itself could reject him which we have many times like imagine my song rejecting me after I created it and worked on it so hard.